Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this other hat that you're wearing, and that's being the president of the FS Investments Foundation. Sure. So what, what's, what's the role of that foundation? So the foundation is something we care deeply about at FS, and I'm certainly very proud of it. Um, we, as an executive committee, are very committed to driving culture, as I mentioned earlier. And one element of that is to develop a dutiful mindset amongst our employees. Um, we're in a business where we have a fiduciary duty to our investors and to our clients. And you guys have seen it. We've all seen it far too often when businesses breach that duty. Um, it, it, it's not only devastating to the business, but certainly it's bad for their, their clients and their customers. And so we thought long and hard about how can we build that dutiful mindset. And our view was if we could drive a sense of civic responsibility, it would reinforce that that fiduciary duty we have to our clients and investors. So uh, all of our employees get three paid days off to perform community service, and we have a team of people that put those community service events together every month. Um, we have a matching program, so when our employees give to charity, we will match it. We have a board placement uh, service that we provide our employees, so we help match employees with nonprofits so they can engage in community service through a board uh, you know, through a board seat and and develop professionally because, you know, serving on nonprofit boards is a great way to develop professionally. And so we like to have a comprehensive relationship with all of the nonprofits with which we partner. We like to be able to volunteer to support it. We like to give it money. We like to put people on the boards. Um, and so we've worked really hard to develop that that sense of duty uh, to to help build a culture that we think will help our business and help our clients. And through that, um, we got very focused on financial literacy. Mm -hmm. And so we now have a partnership with the Wharton School to deliver financial literacy to high school students here mm -hmm. in Philadelphia. We're in six schools. Uh, we're going out actually next month, which is Financial Literacy Month, with an application to add five more schools. So we'll be in 11 schools next year. And it's a comprehensive program. Mm -hmm. We deliver financial literacy curriculum in school there's an after-school component both at the school and in our offices where the kids are exposed to entrepreneurship, uh, an entrepreneurship curriculum. And then we go into the schools at night and on the weekends and deliver the financial literacy curriculum to the families of the kids as well. Mm. So it's a multi-generational mm -hmm. approach. Um, I, I'd like to say we innovated that, but the reality is that was, <laughs> that was uh, the dream of, of a professor here at Penn um, who's just done a phenomenal job. Uh, Keith Weigold, who I'm, I'm sure you What's guys, colleague? Colleague. yeah, <laughs> yep. he's a great guy, mm -hmm. and uh, Jill Bazelon, uh, who works with him, and they have this program, Bridges to Wealth, and so we've built an extension yep. of that program uh, to focus on on high schools. Well, what a wonderful way to end the show. Uh, <laughs> so un unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. I mean, again, thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, if you have a question about something you heard on today's show, please email us at businessradio at SiriusXM.com. Be sure to follow us on our show on Twitter at BizRadio111. And of course, you can follow the Mac Institute at our own Twitter handle at Mac Institute. Mike, thank you so much for joining thank us today you, here in the uh, in the studio. That was a lot of fun. Uh, where can listeners find out more about what you are doing and what your company is doing? Yeah, on our website, www.fsinvestments.com.